Hi, it's Pam from Dream Come True Farm and Pam's Fiber. Well, today I'm going to attempt to show you how to do a coil spun yarn around a core. Um, I'm using the Ashford Country Spinner, which is a favorite of mine to do this type of yarn. And um, I'm going to use a hand spun single yarn, which I have right here. It's a hand spun, kind of a thick and thin, not too thick, but thicker in some spots, thin uh, single yarn. And a, what I have here is a comb of inexpensive, fairly strong cotton uh, fiber that's going to be the core. So what I do is I keep the core cone on the left side of me and I keep my single on the right side of me. But this isn't necessarily how you have to do it. If you are if you feel more comfortable after you see the method in how to do it with the reverse, that's fine too. The good thing about all this type of spinning is there really is no set rules. It's really what you like. So, or what you're comfortable with. So I'm going to start by spinning the two together in a kind of a normal uh, ply just to get it going. So you can see I'm kind of plying it around. Then what I'm going to do is start to coil. You can see I started to coil it a little bit right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my tension on the left hand core yarn. So I'm going to hold my finger here so there's a little more tension. And I'm going to let this flow a little freer and wrap around the core. And I'm also going to not put too much over twist in it, but you do need to put a little bit, you got to make sure it's twisted, which you will set. Um, with a steamer when you're through. So what I do is I add, I like to add what I call yarn beads. I pile them up like this on top of one another, I, which I, all I'm doing is coiling it back and forth, which I think produces what looks like a little yarn bead, a little bubble, a little bauble, whatever you want to call it. I call them yarn beads. So I'm going to continue to let it coil around for a few inches and then I'm going to add another yarn bead because that's how I like to do this coil spun. I personally think it's a little, now here comes a little slub and you can see it almost makes its own little yarn bead and um, I like to do it this way because I think it adds interest to this type of yarn. Um, a coarse spun yarn to me is just, I don't know, it's just a twist. It's a little boring because it would look just like this all the way through. So I'm going to add another little yarn bead, which is a back and forth method. I have a lot of tension on the left hand core piece of cotton and I'm letting the wheel itself pull the right hand single ply out of my hand and I'm guiding it. So I'll go a few more inches and then I'm going to go back and forth and I'm going to make, I like to do this too, I like to make a giant yarn bead occasionally. So what I do is I try to keep it neat going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth and that's probably enough and there you go, a giant yarn bead. Okay, so now I'll continue in this manner. It's a little slow. You can see you can't go too fast. Again, this is an art yarn. And again, it takes time and patience. Push that up if you could see your core through it. Um, it you don't need to have that core 100% hidden. Um, a lot of people do not. It shows through here and there. And we're going to do that right now. That adds a little striping, so that's kind of nice too. And in the beginning, you're probably going to have that happen anyway, so go with it. 
and let that be part of your design. Now as I said, I have the single in my right hand and I have the core cotton in my left. If you feel that it's more comfortable the opposite way, feel free to do that. Add a little more striping just to get the little flecks of color in there. And let it do its thing. Another yarn. Bead. Now we'll coil solid. See, I'm, I'm just letting it wrap around right next to each other. Oh, I have a little knot here. Well, let's just go with that as well. Let's see what we can do with that. Let's make it into a yarn bead. Try to confine that knot in there. And there you go. We made the best of the knot. Add a little striping. Add a little solid core. Make another yarn bead back and forth, back and forth, and let it go. Now to set this yarn, you don't necessarily want to wet it. A lot of art yarns I learned um, from Lexi Boger, um, author of the book Hand Spun and uh, Plucky Fluff and Intertwined. I took a camp with her and what I learned from her was to steam set them which I will do a video of next. Um, I think that I will probably put the video on the same time I put this on uh, so that you can see how to set it with a um, steamer, a handheld steamer, which is quite easy. So we're coiling. All my tension is on the left. I'm letting you can see it fall through, flow through my right hand. Make a little bead let it go in. You're controlling the whole thing really with your left hand I feel because um, I've got all the tension on the left hand so when I want I let let go of that tension and there it is pulling it in and I'm doing more of the striping so the left hand is kind of controlling everything that's going on well it's working hand in hand with the right because the right hand of course is letting this coil on but add a little bit of a less tension, a little freer motion. And this will make a really fun coiled yarn. Knit it, you know, into a hat. This will have a lot of interest, a lot of texture. And or um, I like to make you can make these beads every inch to two inches as such and do about six yards of it and then make it into a necklace for yourself and you have you know a beaded yarn necklace to wear um, but whatever you choose it's a lot of fun so I hope this gives a bit of an explanation of how to coil spin remember tension on the left let this flow through your right guide it on where it's going to land I'm guiding it very close to itself. Now I'm going to angle it a little bit and let the striping show through. Just for some more interest. Straighten it out. Make a bead. Let it coil on. Let it stripe. Let it make another bead. I think it's time for another big bead. So basically I'm going to hold it in one spot and let this coil on back and forth, back and forth. And there I've got a nice big bead, an interesting bead. So there you have it. Coil spinning with yarn beads. Um, again, this is Pam's Fiber from Dream Come True Farm. You can reach me at www hamsfiber.blogspot.com where I have a lot of ideas and farm news. I update weekly, most of the time, um, and put all the farm news and open house dates on the blog. Or you can view my yarns and purchase them at www.pamsfiber.etsy.com. 
or email me at pamsfiber at aol.com. Okay, so there you have it. Again, coarse spinning with yarn beads. Thanks. I'll see you again soon.